To start with the software, you must first select the desired language of the software. This software supports English, Persian, and Bulgarian languages. After selecting the language, click on the login button and you will be redirected to the language selection page by clicking on the language selection in each section of the software. It is worth mentioning that the software can be customized according to your language. In this step, you must enter your data. Be sure to pay attention to the unit when entering the data. The working group of the crane is very important, so for better and more accurate results, be sure to enter the working group according to the ISO standard. Longitudinal and transverse speeds are also very important because they are very effective for the accurate calculation of longitudinal rail size. In this step, you have to enter the box girder data. These data are approximate and based on the purchased sheets and determine the height of the web and the width of the box by calculating the length of the plate. In the next steps, if the design standard is not met, you should go back to this step and correct this value. Enter the weight of the equipment according to the image of the software. In this step, you must enter the elevator data. The number of wheels is very important. The number of trolley wheels can be 4 or 8 wheels. The width parameter of the trolley wheel is very important in the amount of stress applied to the bottom plate of the girder. In this step, you have to enter the box end carriage data. These dimensions are determined according to the size of the plates, the minimum width and also the height limits. Enter the size of the rail, bearing, structural work group and also the size of the welding box. Enter the wheelbase as an approximation, because if the standard is not met, we will return to this page in the next steps and determine the standard wheelbase size. In the first part of the results, i.e. checking the stuck dimensions, you can see the values obtained from the standard, if OK is displayed, it will be acceptable, and if it is not OK, it will be unacceptable. For example, I see that these values will change as the height of the web changes. I emphasize again that you determine the size of the sheet according to the dimensions of the purchased plate so that it is economical. At this stage, you can see the applied force resulting from dead and live load, shear force diagram and bending moment. Also, the tension of the flange, which is the same tension created in the bottom plate of the bridge, was observed. This value depends on the two parameters of the width of the trolley wheel and the size of the thickness of the lower wing of the bridge. By increasing the thickness of the lower wing of the bridge and reducing the width of the trolley wheel, the stress value reek. At this stage, you can see the applied force resulting from dead and live load, shear force diagram and bending moment. Also, the tension of the flange, which is the same tension created in the bottom plate of the bridge, was observed. This value depends on the two parameters of the width of the trolley wheel and the size of the thickness of the lower wing of the bridge. By increasing the thickness of the lower wing of the bridge and reducing the width of the trolley wheel, the stress value reek. At this stage, you can see the stresses applied to the end carriage. The size of the rail is acceptable as you can see. The size of the rail depends on the diameter of the end carriage wheel, the longitudinal speed of the crane and also the working group of the crane. Also, the material and size of the entrance rail is very effective.